On the table, we finally return to the world of LEGO Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu with the Dragon Masters. Up front, we have set number 70644, Golden Dragon Master, 92 pieces. Then we have set number 70648, Zane Dragon Master, 92 pieces. And then we have set number 70646, J Dragon Master, 92 pieces. Also interesting with the imagery on the front with the teens launching these, Ninjago has been around for a long time. Is this to reflect the kids growing up along with the franchise? Or is this just a flyer toy needing a more mature mind? Since Jay is my favorite today, we're gonna start with Jay. Epic box design, by the way. Really makes you want to fly one of these things. On the back of the box, hashtag be ninja, we have images of the nose diving dragon. Looks like step one, build and construct. Step two, rip away. Step three, fly. Also available, Cole and Kai. Perhaps if these are amazing, I will think about picking those up as well. Inside the box, small set of instructions, this bag of pieces, this flyer propeller, one ripcord, the wings of a dragon master, another little baggie of pieces. Time to say this backwards, Master Dragon of J. Dragon Master J constructed, looking totally dangerous. Dangerous? What do you mean? This might be one of the first times I've actually built one of the LEGO Ninjago action pieces, so I'm a little bit curious to see how these work. In the past, there were Ninjago ground spinners, which looked too risky for high-cost LEGO, and my arms can only go so far into an air duct. So to fling these guys into the sky seems even more worrisome. It feels, though, that the main handle is, is fairly strong. I don't think it's going to fall apart too much. You're not going to want to over squeeze this thing. Jay's maneuver is the nose diving dragon. So what you're going to do is hold this up, point straight up and give this a yank. Obviously I won't do that yet as a bunch of studio lights will rain down on us, but it will be interesting to see how high he goes and how these wings work in the sky. Let's move on over to Zane. I typically like to go with Jay and Zane. Zane's Dragon Master features the dragon's nest, whatever that means. I guess according to the back of the box, it means landing it into a basketball hoop. How is she going to get it down? Oh well, the Zane minifigure looks pretty neat though. Inside the box, another small booklet of instructions. This bag of pieces, that bag of pieces, one white propeller blade, Interesting ripcord and your Dragon Master Ice Wings. And now for the build.
Constructed we have Zane's Dragon Master, looking pretty similar to Jay's Dragon Master. Almost identical, but I think they're going with function over form on these guys. And Zane's Ice Dragon wings are looking ultra cool on this one. Zane's stunt is the Dragon's Nest, and I guess we're just changing the angle of launch by just a little bit. Jay's instructions has the flyer more pointed vertical, whereas Zane is slightly more at an angle. Then, give it another pull, and watch out. I think I liked Zane's Dragon Master Flyer slightly more than Jay's. It feels a little sharper to me. I just hope I don't get stuck in a basketball hoop. And we have the Golden Dragon Masters. Golden Dragon Master. So this one launches pretty much upside down, I suppose. And we get the Dragon Flip. Here we have a fellow trying to Dragon Flip over a beam of pipe. And another kid trying to catch it. That's got to require a lot of coordination. I'm going out on a limb here, but I'm guessing inside the box we have one set of instructions, one bag of pieces, a smaller bag of pieces, a flight propeller, a ripcord, and some golden dragon wings. Did I get it right? Well, we're either going to build a boat or another dragon master. Let's see what we get. Constructed we have the Golden Dragon Master, looking very feathery. I don't know, what do you think? We've built three of these in a row. Do you think you could build one in the dark? Ouch! Oh, my foot! Uh -huh. Wait, what? Master Qui-Gon, I was wondering, what are many chlorians? Oh! Ah! Ah! Ooh. Ugh! This build turned out pretty good, same as the first two, but gold always enhances, especially in the 90s. The wing print on this one is even more fascinating, definitely the highlight of these sets. The Golden Dragon Master performs the Dragon Flip somehow, and it looks like we're going to do things upside down. Insert your ripcord, then hold. like so. Then pull down this time. Which will then shoot the golden dragon into the air, perhaps giving us a flip. Interesting how a simple change in the direction of launch will create a different stunt. Or we shall see. Up a little closer with Jay, Hiya. Zane, Hiya. and Golden Dragon Master. Hiya. So who is the Golden Dragon Master? Nice goatee, dude! Processing. So it will be interesting to learn more about this guy. I like the look of the minifigures, though. A little more commando with lots of straps and pockets. Probably good for Dragon Mastering. And on their backs we have little Dragon Master symbols. I like how Zane's is on a backpack. <clears throat> so there the three minifigures would be. I'm thinking if these guys fly really well, I'll be very tempted to pick up Kai and Cole. Let's go out and about and test these guys out. Alright, we have made it to the great wilderness, completely far from any civilization possible as we do not want to destroy our new Dragon Master Flyer. We are going to start off with Jay, and Jay we are supposed to fire it pretty much straight up, so let's give it a shot here. Hopefully he won't go too far. Doesn't look like he is. Let's try again. It looks like you're going to need a lot of force on these rip cords. Here we go. 
Eh, a little better. It's all right to try mixing and matching handles. They're still going to fly no matter what. It's more about pulling this as hard as you can. Ooh. Let's try uh, working on Zane. Okay, here we have Zane. We will give Zane a test. Now Zane, instead of going straight up, we wanted to do more of an angle thing, but that's kind of what I'm going to do no matter what, so it at least kind of goes up. Let's test it out. Ah, Zane got some air that time. Alright, results are kind of mixed. And we'll finish off with the Golden Master Dragon Flyer. This time though, upside down. And it's supposed to flip back up. I think it actually did it. Try that again. Ah, that one actually works pretty well. Let's try Zane again. Cool. One more time working on the perfect dragon flip. He does. So you're just going to have to do a little trial and error. Sometimes they fly better than others, it just depends. Let's give Zane one last try. Not too bad. And back to the table. I think for the short time that I had testing them outdoors before it got dark, things were going pretty well. I can tell these flyers have a lot of potential. It's just taking the time and using the best arm strength to maneuver a great stunt. They do move fast though. It's only a few seconds of air time. Perhaps if I get motivated, I'll pick up Kai and Cole and a slower motion camera and try to get some more unique shots. Today was just kind of testing them out for the first time. They are pretty heavy, so they do fall fast. I wish the wings were just a little bit bigger to catch some more air. But perhaps from a higher starting point, we can get some air. It does look like the best stunt so far was going upside down and watching them rewrite themselves, although they do kind of continue to spin. And don't worry, Jay made it out okay when he smashed into the patio wall. I definitely recommend giving one of these a try and seeing how they go before you pick up too many more, since results will vary depending on launcher, user, and even the way the wings fold around the construction. I've noticed on Jay there's a little bit of wrinkling which could affect flight. So definitely test one out before you get more and see if you like it. Or if you're looking for something to cool yourself off on a warm summer day, they could substitute as a fan. <sighs> ah, the spinning! Oh, the spinning keeps going! Good thing I know spin jitsu! That's a lot of spinning! Ah. Lego Ninjago Masters of Spin Jitsu Dragon Masters arrive on store shelves August 2018. They run approximately $15 per set. If you're looking to do some fine action stunts with your favorite Ninjago character, I suggest picking one of these up. They construct well, look good on a shelf, have a very artistic wingspan, and have interesting flight options. Should keep you entertained for a good while. Just make sure not to launch near anything too expensive, or you will be demanding an adult to replace your prized Ninjago Dragon Master immediately. That's what I have to say about that. If only you could catch a squirrel jumping out of a tree, then onto the Ninjago Dragon Flyer. That would be something to see. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Whoa! How about this trick? Spinning is good. Woo! Oh no.
All right, we are on the way to the park to test out our Ninjago Flyers, it Dragon Masters. Um, uh, um, if, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, Anna's up there ahead of us and we're gonna test these out in a grassy area. All right, one, two, three. Wow. Well, we're just learning. One, two, three. Ha, huh. looks like they need more power. It is kind of windy. 